versus season three. <laughs> the preparation, y'all. Yeah. Woo! to welcome you all to season three of Versus. Let me first start by saying thank you. This doesn't happen if you all don't volunteer and decide to go ahead and give it a chance to show what you know about Bible. So know this, you've already won. Whether you're crowned champion or not, you've already won because you've had the courage and the faith to step up and do uh, what so many people did. So thank you all. As we get ready to get started, we've done a whole lot that's different this year. You'll see it with the set. A lot of work has gone in to get ready for the questions and how things are gonna flow. Remember this, throughout this whole competition, it's really about the audience. This is replacing our regular Bible study, so it's an opportunity for people to learn more about the Bible. And your speaking out your answers helps the audience kind of think about how you're thinking and listen to what you're saying and to engage it in themselves. Hopefully, people will be playing alongside you at home, like saying, oh, I know that answer, you know, so we want to catch as much as possible, all right? Everybody ready to go? Let's get it started.
Trivia Game Show. Hey, Alpha Tree family and friends. Grace and peace be unto you. And God who loves us is mother and father. Yes. <laughs> and Jesus Christ, who always and alone is our resurrected, our risen, our reigning, and our returning redeemer. This is the OTOG, Dr. Judy Fitchis Williams. I'm Pastor Wesley, and we are excited to welcome you to this first episode of season three of Versus. That's right. Versus is a trivia game that enables us to engage God in some really fun and exciting ways. What we realize is that no one really knows everything that's in the Bible, so there's an opportunity for everybody to learn. Yeah, we're glad that you're watching. Our prayer is that as these teams compete, as they share their knowledge or lack of knowledge yes. of the Bible, that it will encourage you to up your study of God's Word. We've done a whole lot of work to get ready for this season, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of preparatory work, That's a right. lot of prayer work that started with myself, Dr. Judy, and the assistant ministers. So take a quick look at what happens behind the scenes getting ready for season three of Verses. How did Verses come to be? Wow. Tough question. We were trying to figure out a way to redo Bible study and we were sitting around talking and at that time the pandemic had just come out and they were doing versus song battles and you know different musicians and producers and I just happened to say you know what if we did our own verses V-E-R-S-E-S from the Bible and from there everybody's creative juices just took off and here we are in season three. First we want to do is a category called Vengeance is Mine looking at revenge in the Bible. Um, another category would be the miracles of Peter. We gotta figure out a, a title for it. But the miracles Peter performed with the miracles of Paul. Sticking with that theme, I know we can get one category out of the miracles of Elijah. Partnering with that, we can get two out of the miracles of Elisha. Connecting to our series, <clears throat> let's do two categories on the names of God. And then I spent a lot of time working on where we have biblical inconsistency around details. And I know that we can give three categories around that. It is summer of 23 right now. And every summer we do versus our online game show. So that involves four to five hour meetings with the entire ministerial staff to come up with all of the questions that go into that, making that show happen. The process of coming up with questions for versus is an experience. Every 30 one hour uh, episode that you watch requires about six to seven hours of preparation. Going through categories, creating questions from nothing, making certain the answers are right. We're forced to read scripture a different type of way, which we don't probably typically always read, so it's not an easy process. It takes a long, long time. It can be um, a little strain at times to just come through and make sure that we're balanced in the difficulty as well as the um, ease of the questions that we come up with. So let's just say this at the outset. The Bible has a lot of information in it. And even if you might have known it or seen it at some point, it doesn't mean you're holding all of it in your head all of the time. So in addition to coming up with the question, we have to figure out where's the scripture reference that supports it. Our, we have to make sure there are no other scripture re references that kind of um, destabilize the answer. We're anticipating that there's going to be someone who's going to push back at every answer. So we have to anticipate all of that. Then there's production work, the set design, the preparation of the contestants. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And we pray that that hard work is a blessing to people who enjoy Bible trivia and learning some things about Bible you may not have known. Okay, and let's make certain, note Deja, this category is for the championship round, right? These are so hard that you got to get these to get the trophy. That's good. As you can see, a lot of work goes behind the scenes before we a lot even of work. begin <laughs> filming Versus. Yeah, and part of that preparation now comes to fruition with the teams who will be competing. You know, it takes a lot of courage and prayer to decide yes. that you're going to stand in front of a national audience and share what you know or don't know about the Bible. <laughs> and we're grateful to God to have some teams from within Alfred Street who've decided that they're going to step up and try to win the championship of season three. Amen. So now it's time for us to meet some of the contestants and teams for season three of Verses. And we're going to start 
with Village, moving from crowd to community. Village, welcome to season three of Verses. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Hey, so tell us a little bit, tell us who you all are, each by name, and what you do at Alpha Street. How long have you been at Alpha Street? I'm Sheila Kirkwood. I joined Alpha Street in 2019. I've been a Village facilitator since 2020. All right. Thank you. Wanda Walker. I'm also a Village facilitator. I've been at, at Alpha Street for two years now. As soon as I got here, I became a facilitator. And hit the ground running. I sure did. Wow. We, we are dependent upon facilitators. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda Flournoy, and I joined Alfred Street in 2019. I've been a facilitator since 2019. All right. Wow, that is wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about how you prepared to compete in verses? We prayed. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had study sessions, mm -hmm. so we had an opportunity to get to know one another. Good. There we all go. All in different villages. Good. And so we quizzed each other on different books of the Bible. Yeah. And so we split it up and did the best we could. But it was an enjoyable experience. Got to know two different sisters. All right. So what's the first book of the Bible? <laughs> Just yeah, it's gonna get a little harder than that. It's gonna be a little right. harder. <laughs> okay. I just want to see, you know, you guys formed your own village, right? Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, did you have a chance to watch any of the past seasons of Verses? Any any reflections? Yeah, actually, I was on the last season. Okay. And so, I'm here to redeem Village. There we go. <laughs> Come to take the crown back, huh? <laughs> well, redemption is a biblical theme. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we also what we did, Pastor Wesley and and. Uh, Dr. Judy, we also, we divided up the, the email we received from you and um, all those, uh, not quite 70, but all of those <laughs> topics, and we divided those up as well. Good. Well, good, good. Hopefully you all be prepared. You know, it's going to go from hard to easy and easy to hard, but yes. we'll see what you guys are ready to do. That's yes. right. Yes. We're so, excited to see. Oh, yeah. good. Well, what do you hope happens for your team this season? The fellowship has already occurred, yes. so that's a that's a good thing. Sound um, like a true facilitator from Village. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we get together, we've already won, right? That's yeah. exactly what she as, said. She did. Yeah, she texted us that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Well, I am a prophet, you know. I do, well, I do have a prophetic spirit. Exactly what she said to us. So well, you know, excited. we gave you all a lot of categories to help you yes, study, yes. but we didn't tell you exactly what those categories were. So tonight, we have an opportunity to ask you a trivia question about Alfred Street Baptist Church. Okay. If you get that question right, we will describe to you what one of those categories are to help you with okay. your study. Okay. You ready? Okay. Yes. yes. Let's see how well you know Alfred Street, not just the Bible. Who was the first female chairperson of the diaconate at Alfred Street Baptist Church? Who was the first female chair. We love that we have female deacons at Alpha Tree. We really do. And chair people. That's right. And this is also historical. Wallace. Wallace. Pat Wallace. All right, Village. I like this Who is the first female chairperson of the diaconate at Alpha Tree Baptist Church? We're saying Pat Wallace. You're oh. saying Pat Wallace. Oh. No, that's so close. She was the second. <laughs> the first female chair of the diaconate at Alpha Street Baptist Church was Patricia Johnson. Wow. And she came okay. to serve right when I became pastor okay. back in 2008. Okay. So sorry, no give reveal of a category, but at least we learned something about Alpha <laughs> Street. Yes. Listen, Village, we're excited. <laughs> Thank you all for being one of our teams. We look forward to seeing you in competition to see what you know or don't know about the Bible. Okay. Thank you. Looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you. Well, Pastor Wesley, how did you feel about the Village team? I like them. I think they got a real strong chance. Um, they gather together as facilitators and have discussions on the relevant application of the yeah. sermons, which means they're engaged in the study of the Word of God and creating curriculum. So I, I got a good feeling Village is going to go pretty far. Yeah, well, I have a good feeling about this next team that's coming hey, up, who Pastor the next Wesley. Team be? The next team would be the dynamic and delightful ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Soror. <laughs> Hello, well, Soror. I hear Hello, a whole lot of favoritism here. No, no. no they're going to do what they're going to do. They are already gifted. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, tell us about yourselves, ladies. Tell us who you are and how long you've been at Alfred Street. I'm Monica Sangbong, and I joined in 
2017 and I came to Alfred Street because of you, Pastor. I saw you at a symposium that you did in Paris at the American That's International right. Church of Paris. Wow. MLK, yeah. Yes, and so once I heard you there and heard how you rightly divided the word of the truth, but also helped them understand what was going on wow. with Black Lives Matter. That's what made me come here. In I, Paris. In yes. Paris, yes. Had an awesome honor of being wow. invited to speak there in honor of Dr. King speaking there many years ago. And who would have ever thought it wow. would lead to us being in That's family That's how together. I got here. That's great. And I'm in the dance ministry, and I am also in the Sunday school, and I am in the Hidden Halo. All right. Oh, All right. that's wonderful. And good evening. I, too, I joined Alfred Street back in 2017. Huh. I dated Alfred Street for a long time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, subsequently joined again because of you as well, too. Uh, I serve on the scholarship committee and have been serving there since I joined back in 2017. We know names matter, so we got to have the name. Everyone's got to know. Pat Wallace. All right. Yes. Oh, and so another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong yes, name at Alpha Street Baptist yes, Church. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. I'm Courtney Edwards, and I have been in Royal Priesthood since about 2010, but I joined Alpha Street in 2019. <laughs> oh, you dated too. <laughs> another one. <laughs> In the choir, but not a member. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> yeah, so when you preached that you had to get off the fence, I got off the fence. Amen. And I, I joined officially. That's great. Thank you so much. So tell me how you all prepared for verses. Well, we actually met on the first day that we were uh, told that we were invited to join. We met the first day, planned out a strategy. We tested each other, uh, had Zoom calls. A lots of uh, research and prayers. <laughs> this sounds like it's a win already. That Dr. sounds Judy. like we got people studying Delta's. the Bible together. That, yes. that sounds like I a win. I wanted to reach out to to Sorbo or Judy Fentress, but we decided not to. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm I glad. Yeah. I'm glad you did not. <laughs> we did not get a we did not get a cheating back upper hand. <laughs> did you all watch any of previous seasons of Versus? That's why I'm sitting yes. here. I watched both seasons, and I realized that I knew more than I thought I did. Ah. And I immediately started praying then, God, I want to be on a team. The next season, I want to be on a team. And here I am. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. She's our ace. Well, <laughs> Dr. Judy always gives the same piece of advice when you're watching and when you're playing, and that is? Trust your first mind. Trust your first mind. You know more about the Bible than you think you do. That's and this is just an opportunity for us to you. share with the entire congregation, what you do or don't know about the Bible to help them learn more. Yeah, we're so ladies, I got to ask this before we give you an opportunity uh, to do a little bit more studying. Who's going to win versus season three? There's no question. We well, are. we we said that the Holy Ghost would decide, and he would probably go with the people when crimson and cream. Ooh, oh, I think that's a good word. I yes. love that. Yeah, yes. especially yes. the crimson and cream part. That that, that that just makes my heart smile because I couldn't get my no good brothers to have a team. So. <laughs> So thank you, ladies, for stepping up. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And now we have an opportunity for you to learn about a category by answering one trivia question about the history of Alfred Street Baptist Church. Here it is, ladies. What was the original name of the Psalms of Praises Choir? The original name. Our choirs have gone through a lot of evolutions. That's All right. of them have changed names. That's right. This one is interesting. They have an interesting history they here. Have a very interesting <laughs> history. Do you know that they're members of the Psalms of Praise have been singing for 50 years? There's one. There's definitely one. We're going to say the young adults. We'll take that as a win. Oh, yes! <laughs> they called, they, your first they were called the Young Adult Choir. Okay. Then they became the young and adult choir because some members were no longer young Don't. adults. <laughs> and then as some of them crossed over to 50 years of singing, they became the Psalms of Praise. So that is correct. They were originally the young adult choir. Dr. G, you want to tell them about one of the categories? I would love to tell my sorrows about one of the categories. So the category, the dozens, what do you think that might be about? All of the 12 in the Bible. Yeah. Everything that is exactly yeah. right. Mm -hmm. You would do well to study the number 12 yes. in the Bible. We have. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, we are going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll meet the entrepreneurship ministry. All right. Thank, Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. You will be able to worship with us in person 
at both 8 a.m. Eastern Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Doors will open one hour prior to the worship start time for each service. So tell your friends, family, and colleagues, please visit alfredstreet.org or be sure to download our Alfred Street Baptist Church app in iTunes or in the Google Play Store. Versus a Bible-based trivia game presented by Alfred Street Baptist Church. A new way to make Bible study fun. Volume 1 is restocked and ready for order. Volume 2 offers an all-new set of Bible trivia questions to spark meaningful conversations about the Word of God. This game is designed to help you deepen your connection to the Bible. Put your orders in now before they're all gone. Welcome back to season three of Versus. Thank you for joining us tonight as we take an opportunity to see some of the things behind the scenes and meet some of our contestants who are ready to show you how much they know the word of God. Dr. Judy, what do you feel about that Delta team? Pastor Wesley, I am confident they will make a good showing. You, you say that like a true woman of Delta Sigma <laughs> Theta. I think they're going to go. Well, they may strong. have a run for their money because these next women are all about business. Agreed. This is the entrepreneurship ministry of Alpha Street Baptist Church. Ladies, welcome to season three of Verses. Glad Thank to have you. you all. Thank you. Tell us who you are and how long you've been at Alpha Street. Um, I'm Miranda Edwards. I joined back in 2015. Um, I started, I think, with the Awana ministry, but I had a baby. So then I came back to finance and budget and had another baby. And so now I'm with entrepreneurship. All right. <laughs> and how are the kids doing? Amazing. All right. Hi, Hi my name is Ashley, and um, I am a D.C. resident, and uh, I love the Lord. I have been a member of Alpha Street since the pandemic. Had a lot of time on my hands, and the Lord led me to you all. Praise God for the pandemic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sherry Butler. I am the president of the Entrepreneurship Ministry. I've been with Alfred Street R. Joined in 2015. I'm also president of DG22, so shout out to DG22. Um, I have been in a host of a village. What I do, I teach vacation Bible school, Awana. So I am married to Alfred Street L2. <laughs> Amen. Hey, so before we move on quickly, tell us a little bit about the Entrepreneurship Ministry. What do you all do? This is, this. every church doesn't have an Entrepreneurship Ministry. So what do you all do? So we have four pillars. So one of them is um, who's who at Alpha Street. Mm -hmm. So we introduce all of the uh, members to Alpha Street that have businesses. We also have the online business directory. You can find that at asbcbusinessdirectory.org. And if you have a business <laughs> and you don't have a profile, sign up for it. We also believe in a balance in life. So every quarter we have an outing or a get together where we just have fun, not all about the church and the businesses that we can let our hair down and relax. And then um, we have the learning. It's called Equip and Empower, where we teach workshops and learning opportunities to help people who want to start businesses if they have an aspiration to do so or those who can enhance the businesses that they already have. Wow, that is so <laughs> impressive. Can you tell us a little bit about how you all prepared for verses? Because you sound like women who know how to handle things. How did you prepare? Well, we got together over uh, Zoom. We met twice a week, so we discussed the categories. We studied. We quizzed one another. So We prayed and we fasted. Mm -hmm. All right. Pray and, and fasted. fasted. Yep. <laughs> Drop mic, game over. <laughs> Competition won. <laughs> Good. Have you all watched any of the former seasons? And what did you think I about did. it? I did. I was very impressed. And it inspired uh, my drive to be here today. Uh, so we are we're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So tell me what you hope for in this season. Well, we hope to win. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but um, definitely, like Pastor said earlier, to touch someone. So yeah. anytime we can touch someone and help them want to know more about Christ or God or the Bible, you know, that's a plus. Amen. Well, we want to help you all. We want to help you study. We want to help you prepare. We want to help you make a step towards that championship. So I'm going to ask you a question about Alfred Street Baptist Church. And if you answered correctly, we'll give away one of the categories so you can study. You ready? ready. Here's your question. They better get this one. Let's see. Who was the first and only woman to serve as pastor of Alpha Street Baptist Church? Dr. Dunn. Dr. Dunn. Yes. 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 We, Amen. we were going to give him a few seconds, but, <laughs> right. but uh, trust your first mind. That answer is correct. Well, one of the categories you all are given to study is something called well, well, well. 
Did you have any idea of what that was about? We were thinking about the woman at the well. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, well, we, we did the bodies of water, and we did the wells in the Bible, right? Yeah. Well, you're right. It's all about the wells in the Bible. Mm. So you would do well to study <laughs> the, wells. the wells in the in Bible, because there will be several questions about the wells in the Bible. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us. We're you. looking forward to seeing you in competition. And coming up next, we will introduce the Gatekeeper. And this is the group that is our greeters and ushers ministry. Yes? Well, let's greet our greeters and our ushers. <laughs> All right. Why don't you tell us your name and how long you've been a member of Alfred Street? All right. I'm Wanda Gums, and I've been a member since 2017. The first time I came to the church, it's a day I joined. Oh, we like those kind of oh, members. Yes. 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 And um, I heard you preach a sermon one Sunday saying it's not about just coming to church and just sitting on the pew, about getting involved. And I prayed and asked the Lord, what do you want me to get involved in? Somebody came up and said, you'll be an excellent greeter. And I said, okay. That's how they recruit. That's how they get you, yeah. That's and of cool. course, I went B-O-T. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, they're all signs. <laughs> they do. Yeah. They do. All right. Well, good evening. My name is Prince Hall. Uh, again, member DG10. Also, of course, with the ushers. Um, trainer with the ushers, and also uh, subcommittee lead with the HBCU Fall Festival. And I joined six years ago again because I had seen Alpha Street before, and I had heard so much about it even before I came. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, I was when I got here immediately. I saw that everything they said was true. Right. This was a dynamic church, and it was a diverse church, so I uh, loved it, immediately fell in love, and was ready to serve. So, Would you happen to have any fraternal fr affiliations that you want to share with the audience? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes sir. Yeah. yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity oh, Incorporated. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> so, Move bless this floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, good brother. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Well, hello, I'm, Do I'm Dr. Lloyd McDuffie, and I have been a member of the Alpha Street Baptist Church since 2014. Mm -hmm. And um, I do a number of things, but this uh, season I am the president of the Greeters Ministry. Well, we know that you all serve a very serious role as ushers and greeters. Yes. The first face people see probably sometimes uh, shapes their experience of worship that day. So I thank you all for your volunteerism and your service. What have you all been doing to get ready for verses? We've heard all these other teams. What is? What are the greeters and ushers? What are the gatekeepers doing to get ready? <laughs> well, you know, when we're not serving, uh, you know, taking care of things. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, sorry. What we did, we actually, once we received all of the, once we received all the different categories, we actually met, we've been meeting via Zoom. So we broke up the categories and we each took the categories that we chose went and searched for answers, put them in like a question answer format, and then we merged them into a 37 page document. And a 37 page document. That was, that was, I, that I was think Dr. when Florida. we're finished, we would like those questions. <laughs> Maybe we can use yeah, some of them next, next year. year. <laughs> for season four, please, because we need the help. Thank you all. Yes, That's uh, great. Yeah. So did, if you watch the previous seasons of Versus, what did you learn from watching? At least for me personally, I like the way that the format was changed. I, mean, I know some of them were in question, you know, uh, multiple choice. Some of them were in timed. Okay, you have, you know, a timed amount to go through and ask questions. So I think it was nice, at least for me personally, it kind of yeah. to see that format change up, almost like a combination of Jeopardy, Family Feud. So again, that was just I think it'll be entertaining. So yeah. yes. what do y'all hope will happen this season? That to win, win, of course. That you want to win? <laughs> well, Dr. Judy may be able to help you all take a step towards that. That's right. I'm going to ask you a question about the history of Alfred Street Baptist Church, and you know that if you answer it correctly, we're going to help you with one of the categories. So here we are. Who was the immediate past senior pastor of Alfred Street Baptist Church before Pastor Howard John Wesley? Peterson. That is correct. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Dr. John Otis Peterson preceded me as pastor, and he served faithfully for 42 years. All right. Our second longest term pastor in the history of the church. And uh, is it in your contract that you have to serve for no, 42 years? No, my contract years? Yes. Uh, well, didn't have any, any of those uh, <laughs> expectations. No, we, we, we set the bar a little bit lower. Uh, yeah. So, Dr. Judy, give him one of the categories. Okay. So let's talk about the category Wise Up. What do you think that might be? My initial reaction was that it had to do with Proverbs. 
interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's it doesn't. So why don't you tell them what it does <laughs> yes. have to do so with it? So this is a category about counsel. Wise counsel given throughout the Bible or examples okay. of wise counsel. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, when someone gave a little hint or piece of advice, just like Dr. Judy yes. gave you all. Yes. Yes. all right. Look, readers, ushers, again, we thank you for your service, thank your volunteerism, you. and mm -hmm. look forward to you all making your way towards the championship. And thank you for competing in season three of Verses. Thank you. Pastor Wesley, you know that the gatekeepers had a really impressive study method. 30-something pages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're ready. Yeah. They're ready. But this next group, I believe, is too. Wow. You know, in the Bible, a little <laughs> trivia, the keepers of the law, yes. they knew the word of God. They yes. challenged Jesus all the time. Yes. Because they were the modern-day lawyers of that day. That's right. Today, we get to meet our legal resources team, lawyers of the church. Welcome, legal resources, to season three of Verses. We're glad to have you all. Thank tell you. us We're about yourself. Tell, you, tell us who you are, what kind of law you practice, and how long you've been at Alfred Street. I'm Camille Burden. I've been at Alfred Street since 2016. I actually don't practice law, but I'm a licensed attorney. Um, I'm a teacher. Oh, okay. I teach middle school. Hi, I'm Michelle Lanchester, and I've been a member since 20, uh, 2018. I do private practice, wills, okay. probate, things All like right. that. I uh, joined Legal Resources in 2018. Right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the Legal Resource Ministry. Again, one of, we believe, a relevant gathering of not only those who practice law, but help those with legal issues in the church. What do you all do within the church? So we serve as really a resource to not only the Alfred Street community, but the broader community at large. Um, there are, we host legal clinics. Um, in addition to that, we we are we serve almost as a conduit between individuals who are seeking um, connection to an attorney. We just provide that name, and then that relationship is formed if it if they choose to do that. I know you all have done a lot of great work with voter suppression awareness mm. and voter registration, so I want to thank you all. I firmly believe that if you're a member of Alpha Street Baptist Church, you ought to have a Bible and your voter registration card. Amen. Both Amen. of them are necessary. We agree. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Well, since both of you completed law school, I need to know how you all studied for verses. Yeah, how you going to pass this bar? <laughs> well, you know, what we did was we took some index cards and we threw them up in the air. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We did. We divided up the categories. We met on Zoom. Um, we prayed and fasted. And you know, you know the saying. You know, uh, you know the Lord is a mind regulator. So All we right. were asking the Lord to regulate our minds. I think they might be ready. I, this prayer and fasting thing always works, right? <laughs> it can't go but so wrong. Have you watched any of the other seasons of verses at all? Any reflections? I haven't watched many seasons of Versus. Okay. I've I watched every I've watched every episode. Okay. I loved it. It was yeah. awesome. Some of those awesome. questions may show up again, you, you know. Never so know. You never know. That may help. Okay. <laughs> you never know. All right. Tell me what you hope to have happen in this season of Versus. Well, we hope to be the winners, of course. All right. You know, and you know, and that way we will lead more people to Christ. And to, Amen. To there the church. Go. That's you see how she put goal. it in that order, yeah. win and lead people to Christ? Hey, hey. <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive, right? <laughs> they first must hear the word. Hey. Right? Ah, Shondo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, you are legally minded, but I'm going to see if I can give you a chance to up the game a little bit. I'm going to ask you a question about Alpha Street Baptist Church. This was a little difficult. If you get it right, we'll unveil one of the categories for you. Are you ready? Here's your question. Who was the longest serving deacon at Alfred Street Baptist Church? Served 50 plus years mm. as a deacon. There's only one. There's only one. Yeah. Mm. Deacon Ware. Deacon mm. Ware, that is a good guess. Those names, Richard Ware and Mary Ware, are strong names at Alfred Street. However, he was not the longest serving. The longest serving deacon of more than 58 years was Will Willis, for whom the golf tournament is named after. Deacon Will Willis was one of the greatest servants at Alfred Street Baptist Church, and he served five plus decades as a deacon in the history of this church family. Praise the Lord. May God rest his soul in peace. Yeah. League of Resources, we look forward to seeing you all in competition to see what God's going to do. We're going to take a commercial break, and after we come back, we'll meet our Sunday school. Now, if anybody come on. ought to do well in verses, come on. it's Sunday school. If not, there'll be no more Sunday school. Wait. We'll meet you all after the break. <laughs>
We're inviting all high school seniors and juniors across the nation to join us in person and online. You don't want to miss this opportunity to register today for one of the amazing HBCU college festivals in the nation. It all goes down on Friday, November 17th, virtually and in person on Saturday, November 18th at the St. James Sports Complex in Springfield, Virginia. Be sure to visit our AlfredStreet.org website for details and all things pertaining to the HBCU College Festival. Alfred Street Baptist Church, in conjunction with our Office of Christian Care and Counseling and Mental Health and the Sacred Sanctuary, present Diagnosed the Play, written by Mrs. Ayana Blake. ASBC Sanctuary live in-person experience, Saturday, October 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, in person in the sanctuary at Alfred Street Baptist Church. Doors open at 6 p.m. Please be advised, this production contains material of suicide, sexual assault, depression, and other references of mental health disorders that may act as triggers. Diagnosed is intended for mature audiences only. This play is free to attend. Please invite your family and friends to come out to Alfred Street Baptist Church on Saturday, October 21st at 7 p.m. We invite you to tune in to our Faith Forward weekly radio broadcast featuring Pastor Howard John Wesley. This in the first time you had to call on God. This in the first time you waited on God. Is there anybody here who knows what God has done for you? Every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Magic 102.3 FM and 92.7 FM for a powerful sermon that will move you forward in your faith. Hey family, welcome back. We're beginning season three of Versus. I'm Pastor Wesley. I'm Dr. Judy. And tonight we're taking the opportunity to introduce you to those who have the courage in Christ to step out and compete in season three of Versus. Dr. Judy, we have had some strong teams come through here. Yes. What do you feel about that legal resource team? I think this is going to be a really solid competition. They should be able to pay attention to details. But Pastor Wesley, this team right here ought to be able to bring it. Who is this team, Dr. This Judy? is Sunday School. Sunday School? Come on now. What do they Sunday do? School can't teach. <laughs> so they teach the Word of God to our children all the way to our adults. So I suspect that they could write all of the questions for verses if we needed them to. Well, let's meet if we would. Who's representing Sunday School? Tell us who you are, how long you've been at Alpha Street. Um, I'm a Reverend Rosalind Brooks. I have been at Alpha Street since 2000. Wow. Um, and I started going in 2000. I joined about a year and a half later, so I've been here for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, deep roots. My name is Daryl Taylor, and my daughter and I, we joined in 2015. In fact, a real quick story, we were going to another church. I said, I hate to be late. Let's go to Alfred Street. I heard a few good things about it. So we came to Alfred Street, and we've been here ever since. Hey, Amen. We like that. Now, you all have some history with verses, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Yes. Tell us. Well, we both participated last year. And I started out, but I could only uh, do the first session because then I went out of the state uh -huh. <laughs> for about a month. And then you all continued. Yeah, we carried the ball to the semifinals last oh, right. year. Yeah. yeah. What would you think about it? What you all learn from, uh, from that competition last year? Well, uh, Reverend Wesley, what I learned was I should listen to Dr. Judy. <laughs> I've been saying say that, that for 20 one years. One more time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she said... Say the first answer that comes to your mind. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's the answer, 3,000. But man, maybe it was 4,000. It was 3,000. Mm. 3, so. Yeah, but so. now you've learned. So you're ready for this right. season. Right. Amen. I, I hope I learned. Yes. So tell us how you prepared. Okay. The way we prepared, um, we have the book versus the, the card, the uh, flashcards. And also okay. we purchased a few more flashcards. And also there's an app on the web called um, Bible Trivia. Mm -hmm. And we go through that. And also we hit a couple of um, Bibles, um, recast Bibles, such as Schofield, which is old. But I thought that uh, Reverend Howard, since um, you su have such a legacy, that you might go back to the old books. And, um, oh, yeah. I don't know. I'll see. There are always some surprises in <laughs> verses. Right. What do you all hope will happen this year? Uh, we hope we win, right? <laughs> <laughs> we 
Well, if we don't, then well, we might have an uh, insurrection. <laughs> we may. You know, we're just trying to keep everybody, like, just because we're Sunday school, let's just keep this right. real. <laughs> Dr. Judy said it best. No one knows everything about the Bible. That's you right. all do an amazing job at helping people explore the Bible. To teach, one does not always have to know it all. That's one right. has to be open to know what I don't know. And then enjoy the communal setting of learning together in our Sunday school classes. That was very well said, Pastor well, Thank you. Thank thank you. That's why they call me Pastor. You understand? <laughs> we want to help you all, so Dr. G is going to give you a little trivia about Alfred Street okay. that may help you move towards the championship. All okay. right, okay. here we thank are. You. Who is the chapel at Alfred Street Baptist Church named after? Is it Atkins? Wow. Oh, yes. Do you know what Atkins was? Atkins was one of our pastors. That's right. His name is Andrew Warren Atkins. That is right. And the chapel is named after him. Now, Judy, you got to help him now. (laughs) All right. So the category of Riddle Me This, what do you think that might be about? Sounds like a Batman thing, right? (laughs) Riddle Me This, Riddle Me This. It is, but this time it's not. To me, it sounds like, you know, there are certain instances in the Bible um, where Persons would be tested in some way. All right. And um, on, for some reason, there's a particular person that comes to mind who I'm, his name is escaping me at the moment, but it seems like it has something Don't let it do. escape you in well, no. <laughs> don't, don't let that happen. <laughs> well, you are very close. In this category, we're looking at questions in the Bible, when people ask questions. All okay. right? Especially okay. asking the Lord questions. Right. Ah. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> so you might do well studying those. Okay. Riddle me this. I think they're going to do all right. Just... I think you're going to do just fine. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there was a song we sang growing up in church. It said, every round goes higher and higher. Yeah. And I think every year versus has gotten better and better. Our competition is getting stiffer and stiffer. And that Sunday school team, that might be a sleeper. You might want to might want to bet your Bible on them because they know the word of God. Yeah, well, I'm actually waiting to see how this next team is going to do. Yeah, that. me too. This is Acts, and these are our deacons in training. So they have been studying the Bible very closely as they've prepared for their ordination to the diaconate. And they're going to be servant leaders in the church. Amen. Yeah, if anybody ought to they're do well. They're going to need to know. Yeah, because ordination may hang in the balance. Well. Let's meet them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, would you tell us who you are and how long you've been a member of Alfred Street? Um, Hi, I am Deacon in Training, Alana Mallory. I have been coming to Alfred Street since 2011, and I finally made that walk in 2015. Okay, and what ministries are you in? (laughs) Um, I'm in a couple, so uh, I sing with Royal Priesthood. Um, I do a lot with children and youth, so Awana, VBS, Kids Street, and... um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with those. <laughs> That's good. Hello, I'm Shalonda Scott. I joined Alfred Street October 2010, and I'm involved with the Senior Scholarship Committee, Sunday School, Class 3, and um, Psalms of Praise. All right. Shalonda has a mean hobby. Yeah. She makes <laughs> the most phenomenal cupcakes in the entire world. Yeah. And I have many a pound that I've had to lose by your blessing. So thank you for being a personal blessing to me. Yeah, good yeah. thing that we don't take bribes here at Versus. We well, talk for yourself, Dr. J. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it might help a little bit, you know. You. So listen, have you all watched Versus before? I know you've competed before. So have you watched it? What have you learned? What are you bringing to the set this year? Um, I have watched it. And like you said, the first year I played. Um, and then the, so I watched all of those. And then last year I, I watched along too. And it's definitely a different experience playing versus watching at home and playing along. But it is equally fun in both ways. And I know from playing at home, it was really fun seeing in the chat, you know, like people engaging and what they thought the answers were. And um, I'm really excited. So it has definitely changed a lot since the first season when I played. So I'm excited to be back. And for me, I was, you know, serving so much. Um, I haven't watched, but I did watch the lightning round when Greg Bowen won. So, you know, yeah, that yeah, was the yeah, best. Yeah. He, he wears a crown around yeah. here. That, yeah, that guy, he's not allowed to compete anymore. That's right. Funny story, Music and Worship Arts won last year, and you know that he blew it out the water. Greg was phenomenal. Yes. 
the deacons tried to recruit him afterwards to join <laughs> to, to become a deacon so he could have him on his team. That's how great he was. He could so. have been a DIT <laughs> with could, you all. Could have been with you all. That's right. That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about how you prepared for this season? Sure. So group effort for sure. Um, we have a third teammate, um, Deacon in training, Charles May, who will be with us when we play. And so he actually has the versus card game. So he was brushing up on that. Um, we did a Google study doc uh, that we were all contributing to. We did Zoom. Um, Shalanda, you watched. You watched. Oh, yes. Thing. I watched The Chosen all three seasons. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Just in case there's any little nuggets in there. <laughs> and then, of course, I think as other groups have said, lots of prayer. So, yeah. <laughs> come through Holy Spirit. Real quick, how's your experience been in the Deacon and Training Program? That's a side of church that many people probably will never experience. Um, it's a high honor to be a deacon at Alpha Street. It's something we take very seriously as servants. What's your experience been thus far in this training? And are you excited about the new season that God's called you to? It's very humbling. I know that it was told it'll be a spiritual journey, but it's also been like a spiritual detox, like a deeper dive, self-reflection, um, reflective walk. And it's been beautiful. It's been hard. It's been enlightening. And I don't regret saying yes, but month of rest, no, not so much, but it's okay. No, no, month of rest is for the audience. Right. So trust me, it's on this side, no, not at all. <laughs> I would agree with that. Um, humbling is definitely the word that I would use as well. Um, there's a lot about the church and behind the scenes that I didn't know. Um, and so I know for me on this journey, like there's a lot of things that I probably didn't really pay a lot of attention to before. But now every time you say, you know, after church, the deacons this or deacons that, I'm listening up like, okay, what is that? What are, what are, what are they asked to do? And um, I've had the opportunity, to, of course, to connect with really great um, fellow DITs and our training team is awesome. And we've had some great guest facilitators and it has definitely been a journey. It has been challenging, but it has also been a blessing. So we're really excited, and ordination is coming quick. <laughs> yes. Well, you've been learning about the church. Let's see how much you've really learned. I have a trivia question for you about Alpha Street Baptist Church, and if you get it right, we'll give you one of the categories. You ready? Here's your question. Who authored, when I was young, the first written history of Alpha Street Baptist Church? Who's the author of When I Was Young? Deacon Hal Wallace. Deacon Alton Wallace is correct. Deacon Alton Wallace is a church historian and the first author of When I Was Young, The History of Alpha Street Baptist Church, which we're looking to add to now to a second edition. And we want to thank him. He and his wife are great deacons at Alpha Street Baptist Church, served. His wife was a chair. That's a strong name that you all are following in. So congratulations on knowing Deacon Alton Wallace. Because of that, we'll give you one of the categories. This one may not have been too difficult. The category was called Vengeance is Mine. Do you have any idea what that category is about? We did brainstorm that it could involve an actual um, battle or potentially people who wanted revenge, but either they acted on it or they sought God for help. Yep. So you're exactly correct. That category is about people who sought revenge in the Bible. So you do well to find the offenses and what men or women did in response to get vengeance on their own rather than trusting God. We are really looking forward to having you participate in this season. Thank you. And now we have the last team that we're going to introduce. The last letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega, the man of Omega Psi. Yeah, they got the right year with the wrong month, the wrong color, <laughs> stuff, all that. But but we're glad to have them compete. Absolutely. You know, we are glad to welcome. Since we got the Deltas on, we went ahead and got a Q team together, and we're gr grateful to introduce you to the men of Alpha Street Baptist Church who also believe that friendship is essential to the soul. Welcome, men of Omega Sci Fi. Tell us who you are, how long you've been at the church. Thank you, sir. I'm John Rosenthal. I've been here since April the 9th of 1994. Amen. Right. You've got a long history here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell us some of the things you've done, John. You've worn many hats at Alfred Street. Well, let's see now. I've been uh, the president of the male ushers. I worked in the entrepreneurship ministry. As a matter of fact, I wrote the charter for the entrepreneurship mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. I was director of the men's ministry. I was the I started the men's ministry scholarship endowment. Uh, 
and now I'm a deacon. I've run the um, HBCU Festival. Yeah, about yeah. to say. Lately, the HBCU Festival. I did the uh, fundraising for the festival. Yeah. The uh, so we started that committee where we raised the hundred thousand dollars from Facebook and Google and all those other companies. Yeah. I did that as well, and I think that's about it. Yeah, John was instrumental in bringing corporate sponsorship to our HBCU festival, which allowed it to grow tremendously. When you talk about attaching our names to like Facebook and Google, yes. so John, I want to thank you for your labor in making that sure. happen. That was a pleasure. Yeah, and who's this brother you got next to you? <laughs> hey, my name is uh, David Stevens. I've been in Alpha Street since uh, about 2010. Um, did a stint in the military here, uh, left for a few years, and came back in 2018. What branch did you serve in? Uh, Army. Thank you for your service to the nation. Amen. Thank you. Hey, you guys ready for Versus? Yes, sir. Ready for season three? Yes, sir. We're looking forward to have you all. Tell us a little bit about how you prepared to get ready for Versus. Well, we've watched Versus, number one. Uh, we've done, you know, we've done Bible study together. Uh, we've done, done a prayer breakfast together. Uh, we've done a lot of things, and you want to tell them some of the things we've done? You've done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, um, my son and I have a, a Bible study uh, every week, actually, and um, we uh, purchased a copy of the Versus game and kind of practice that way. All uh, right. Well, that, what did you look? Praying and le reading the Bible. Oh, don't forget that. We need that. <laughs> read the Bible. Yes. <laughs> It'll make, make you a, a better, better Christian. Christian. <laughs> make you a better Omega. And <laughs> maybe, oh, praise God. There's no such Amen. thing. Go, go ahead, Virgin. <laughs> did you learn anything from watching the previous seasons of verses that you might want to use? Well, you know, yes. Uh, we found that it was helpful to, to talk to each other. Good. And learn from each other. And as you said, if it comes to your mind first, it's probably correct. It's good. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you hope to have happen in this season. Well, first of all, we hope to answer our first question correctly. Amen. <laughs> first thing we and we love to win. Amen. That's good. That's good. Well, Dr. G's gonna try to help you win right now. I want to help the men of Omega Sci Fi. Here we go. Here is a question about Alfred Street Baptist Church history, and if you answer it correctly, we'll help you with one of the categories. How many sitting presidents of the United States have attended worship at Alfred Street Baptist Church? I'm going to say two. All right. Do you know who they are? <laughs> Let's see. We know it wasn't. Uh, we know who it wasn't. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would All say right. uh, that, that invitation has never been extended. There you go, yeah, President yeah. Uh, Clinton and President Obama. That That's, is absolutely right. Very well good. Done. Very good. We are, have the honor of having received two sitting presidents in worship. All right. So the category, another side of the story. Do you have any idea of what that might be? Another side of the story. No. This is a really interesting category. Yeah, so yeah. here we're going to um, lift up an example of something that happens two different ways in the Bible. Mm. There may be two different stories, two different versions, two different sets of details around the same event that happens within the Bible, which, of course, encourages us to do diligent study that you always can't take it with just one verse. Amen. So you do well to read the Bible. Well, could it be that um, the version that was written by one writer and the version written by another? That, that could be part of it. That there, might there are work. a whole lot of reasons why, That's but right. there are some double, doubles in the Bible, yeah. and you all be questioning on that. All right. Yes. Omegas, thank you all. We Thank appreciate you. you all being here with us. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed and are excited about what's getting ready to come up with verses. A whole lot of work, a whole lot of prayer. That is right. And a whole lot of fasting has happened to get ready for this competition. And we want you to join in with us next week as we begin our first competition between Village and our greeters and our ushers. They are up first. And we'll see who's going to move on to the semifinals. I'm Pastor Wesley. I'm Dr. Judy. And we'll catch you all next Tuesday for Season 3 of Versus. <laughs>